Welcome back. You're with us on Trading Hour. Let's uh, get to the commodity markets now. Manisha Gupta joining in as always. And today she's focusing on crude oil. Manisha, morning. Tell us more. Well, thank you for that. We have seen 2% of decline in the crude oil prices in the overnight markets there. And uh, from a three-week highs of $87 a barrel, we have seen a very sharp cut come in for the prices for the last couple of sessions. Now, well, three things really that have led to the crude prices coming off. One is that the U.S. crude inventories have risen for an eighth straight week, and API suggests this rise at 10.6 million barrels. Then U.S. also says that after releasing 180 million barrels in the previous year, they are looking to release another 26 million barrels from the strategic petroleum reserve that will happen in this quarter itself and then EIA also reported suggesting that it's going to be a record output in the month of March from the shale basin in US so higher production higher inventories and the demand not matching up is what's weighing on to the crude prices but the OPEC monthly report that came in yesterday has been slightly supportive it says that the 2023 demand estimates has now been revised on the higher side to nearly 2.23 uh, 32 million barrels per day that equals to nearly 101.87 million barrel per day of crude consumption uh, in the global markets there. Also, the Chinese demand is something that the OPEC is uh, putting a lot of hope on. And as far as the OPEC and the non-OPEC output for 2023 is expected, that is expected to be on a flatter note, actually lesser for non-OPEC. And in the second half of this year, that could perhaps be the reason that you could see support coming back in case of the crude oil prices. All right, Manisha, thanks a lot for getting us that quick update. Crude currently below the $85 a barrel mark, but we are going to get into a short break now. When we come back, we have another corporate conversation lined up for you. We will speak to the management of HEG to discuss the company's Q3 earnings.